Here we're going to take a look at the technical situation display and the new map feature we decided to put in. It's a rather interesting thing and we're kind of excited to be talking about it. So here we go, the new TSD display. Now right now I'm in navigation mode and I can toggle between navigation and attack mode to display either targets or navigation information. So right now I'm going to leave it in navigation information. <coughs> I can uh, <clears throat> set my filters and targets and all that stuff, but for now let's take a look at our little moving map display that we've got set up. If I go to the right action, I can turn on the map. I'm displaying an image at 5 kilometer zoom level. I can zoom in all the way down to <clears throat> 5, from 5 to uh, 1 kilometer. I'll turn on my head to do that. So, 2 kilometers, 1 kilometer, 50 kilometers, 25, 10, and 5. This gives us a wide array to display the image and sort of scale. So let's take off and take a look at this. switch my left page to the flight page so I have a better idea of what's going on in terms of helicopter parameters and performance. I can see right now I'm heading for uh, my first waypoint here and it's 2.5 kilometers away and my heading from it is about uh, 348, 347. If I look at my carrot on my left page I should be able to zoom in a bit more. I'm also going to assume a few of you are probably already shouting at me right now saying that there's default sound, you can't hear anything in the cockpit. Well, right now that's not really our focus and um, I really wish you guys would quit pestering me about that because it's very annoying and I can't hear anything anyways. So for all I know, I'm not really saying anything about either. But uh, we'll try to ignore that for now and try to focus back on our original subject point. So as I tick past the waypoint, it ticks to the next active one, and I can see that one highlighted. Inactive waypoints are having a hollow black circle, whereas with active ones I have a solid green circle. This uh, basically is a little pointer saying, hey, I'm the active waypoint, that kind of information. My iHats also in indicates the right direction to the point and uh, to where my distance is and which one it is. So if we zoom in a bit more, we can get more terrain detail and more focus on our little map image. So in addition to all that, we have our little navigation points here. And we're going to actually be flying to a small target area I've set up to uh, display the attack mode. Which is kind of working on the similar principles, but instead of that, you know, we have our more specific uh, targeting information. I'm getting close. And I've seated it. Whoa, boy. Alright. So let's do a quick cheat auto hover on and see what else we can see at a longer range here. Alright. Clicks, five clicks. That should do us nicely. So I'm going to switch to the attack mode from navigation now. I have a few targets out there. And in attack mode I've got icons instead of, uh, or the target icons instead of my navigation points. So since this is only a no radar aircraft, as you can see here, I have to reply, rely upon my uh, TAD sensor suite. So switch to TAD, weapons up, look here, see that, I gotta select the right weapon, let's switch to Hellfires, 
and let's see what we can target. Alright. Let's try that one. Alright, we can see it's highlighted now. The red, the bracket around it. We've got a treaded tank target. I can also switch my filter to a track, which only displays my current target. Radiation targets, or well, I should say AAA targets. I'll have to tell not unit to fix that one. Wheel targets, and I can cycle between PFZ targets. So, all target filter, let's target that tank, send off a missile, and we can see now there's a little X over the target, and he's done. So the TSD system is a display that's very useful for us in what it does and all those other special little things because we can use it for our attack and situational information and it's just a really really handy tool regardless of whether or not you're using the map or not. Of course as I like to say this little map is really handy for our little enclosed spaces but if necessary and it's too cluttered or it's not good to us can also turn the map off. Or, as we see here, my cute little file not found map, in which case I can toggle to the next available map, which is none. And then all I have are my target icons. So let's switch back to navigation mode. See, the next waypoint is 5. Click that off. And away we go. So all set and done, I hope you liked this little, cute little demonstration and uh, hope you'll tune in next time that uh, we have something important and exciting to show you guys. Until then, have a nice day.